With several investigations still underway into an infamous taser-related death at Vancouver Airport, the family of Robert Zakansky may finally find some closure. Nine months after his death, his remains are set to be laid to rest in his Polish hometown. His mother carried his ashes overseas to a country still questioning the senseless loss of one of its citizens. Global's Ted Czernecki is in Poland tonight with the latest developments. Ted. Jamie, behind me is the small Polish town of Piaszczyca, where Robert Czekanski was born and where he will be buried tomorrow, right behind that church. Of course, the story continues to be big news in Canada, but Canadians might be surprised to find out how big the story is still here in Poland. A final farewell to the place where her son died nine months ago after being tasered at Vancouver International Airport. Three weeks ago, Zofia Szczekanski began the last leg of an arduous journey. Inside her carry-on luggage, the remains of her son. She has finally decided to use an open-ended business class ticket courtesy of the airport authority. My family is here in cemetery, and I will bury my son here. Today in Piaszczyca, she's making final preparations for tomorrow's memorial service, expected to be covered by at least four Polish television stations, including national TV out of Warsaw. <laughs> Today, a half-hour interview on Radio Wrocław. The station covers a quarter of Poland. She's here because Polish media cannot understand why in Canada police investigate themselves and why they've heard nothing about that investigation since that troubling video was viewed worldwide. Canada seems to be very just and very democratic country and we are surprised and we are disappointed. The older case takes so, so much time that it's to take so long time and nobody face the, the consequences. Yeah. Few people speak English here, but mention the name Robert Czekanski and they all acknowledge him. His tombstone is already in place in the town cemetery, right behind the church. His ashes will be placed with those of his grandmother. And Jamie, tomorrow the sermon will have political overtones. A translation we've received will call on Sophia, Robert's mother, to continue the fight against what will be described as the senseless use of tasers by police. Jamie?